Hi, Uzairu Sadh here from Cisco TAC Firewall team. In this video, I will show you how you can migrate Firepower Threat Defense FTD from on-prem FMC to CDFMC. There are two steps to this migration. First, we will onboard the on-prem FMC to the CDO tenant. And once the on-prem FMC is onboarded to the CDO, we will then migrate the FTD to CDFMC. Let's get started. Log into your CDO tenant and from the CDO tenant dashboard page, navigate to settings and then general settings. On the general settings page, make sure auto onboard on-prem FMCs from Cisco Security Cloud features is enabled. Next, log into your on-prem FMC GUI and then navigate to integrations and then Cisco Security Cloud or SecureX if you're running an older version. On the Cisco Security Cloud integration page, click on enable Cisco Security Cloud button. That will open up a pop-up and take you to the CDO. On the CDO page, click on continue to SSO and then select your CDO tenant name and then click on authorize FMC to enable the Cisco Security Cloud integration with your FMC. Next, navigate back to your on-prem FMC GUI page and click on save to save the configuration. Once the configuration is saved, that will trigger the on-prem FMC's registration with Cisco Security Cloud. Once the registration is completed, the on-prem FMC will show up as onboarded on the CDO. Next, we will be migrating a Firepower Threat Defense from on-prem FMC over to CDFMC. For this demo, I will be using a Firepower Threat Defense hosted on an ESXi server running 7.4.1. Switch back to your CDO tenant and on the CDO tenant page, navigate to Tools and Services and then select Migrate FTD to CDFMC. On the Migrate FTD to CDFMC page, notice there is a blue Add button on the top right of the screen. Select the Add button. Before you begin the migration, make sure the FTDs have correct DNS server configuration to resolve CDFMC hostname. The required network is enabled for the FTDs to reach CDFMC through the TCP port 8305. The FTDs must have outbound port 443 open. The on-prem FMC must have outbound port 443 open to access cdo.sysco.com domain. Then click Next. On the next page, select the on-prem FMC from the drop-down list and click Next. On the next page, select the device that you want to migrate to the FMC. Under the Commit action, select if you want to retain this device on your on-prem FMC or you want to delete it from the on-prem FMC. Once selected, click on Migrate FTD to CDFMC, begin the migration. Click on View Migration to Cloud Progress to monitor the progress of the migration. The migration process has now started. Usually it takes about 15 minutes to be completed. Click on the three dots under Actions and then Workflows to monitor the job process when the migration is running. As you can see, the FTD migration from on-prem FMC to CDFMC goes through different stages. As all the stages of the migration are successful, the migration will be shown up as completed on the CDO. The last step is to commit migration changes. Under Actions, click on three dots and then click on Commit Migration Changes. On the next page, select the device and then click on Commit. Committing migration changes takes about a few minutes to complete. Once the committing action is completed, the migration status will show up as successful. Next, log into the FTD CLI and run the command Show Managers. You will notice the CDFMC hostname will show up as a manager and it will be show up as registered. Navigate back to the CDO page, click on Tools and Services, and then Firepower Management Center. Then click on Devices under Management to go to the CDFMC page. On the CDFMC Device Management page, you will notice the FED Virtual is showing up as registered and online. Last step is to make a full deployment to your FTD. Click on Deploy, and then Advanced Deploy. Select your FTD and then click on Deploy to make a deployment to your FTD. Once the deployment is completed, you will now be able to manage this FTD from CDFMC. Thank you for watching.